Bluebells. We wanted to show you how to make bluebells or a version of bluebells inspired by the ones that you're not allowed to pick in real nature. So there's either the templates that you've been able to download or you can use some crepe paper, which is very gratifying because it's quite quick and easy. And the crepe paper is, is um, deliciously in one side. You can stretch it out and you can just roll it around your finger, squeeze it and twist it at the other end and then you've got your little bell you've got your little trumpet and then you put the wire on top of it if you wanted to make the petals or more of a sort of petal look at the end of of the the bell then what i do is i stretch it out the crepe paper in one side of it so you've got this more triangular shape and then i'm cutting through four layers the reason I'm cutting through four layers is I like to, it depends very much on what scissors you're using, of course, but if you are using a pair of scissors, I find that the tension between the paper and the scissors is easier when you go through several layers of paper. And then also you've got four bells in one go. And so I'm rolling it around my finger, gluing it on one side so it's just got this delicate little one-layered bell, one-layered petal, and um, then I'm wrapping the wire around it and making sure that the end bit gets squeezed in with the top bit. And I'm cutting the wire off so I have about, yeah, fingers worth of wire um, on left over. And see, once I, I'm trying to glue this here and I'm turning it around on the other side because, of course, the, 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 the tighter part has to be outside the finger. <laughs> depending on how thin your fingers are, of course. And then you wrap the wire around it. And I like to make a bunch of these before I start assembling them. I think it makes it easier to, almost more meditative, to do several bells in one go and have for a couple of stems. I'm doing six here for one stem. That's a about right and if you want to put more on your of course you can go you can go crazy and put seven or eight bells on them but and then I cover them up with masking tape with a crepe paper I think it works quite well too and generally I think it means that with the masking tape it places the wire and the paper with you know it sort of blends it in with each other and it covers up the the wire that otherwise would possibly prick your fingers or make it, I don't know, make it sort of, sometimes they fall out once you've assembled, when, when you're assembling them and then you, you wish you'd put masking tape on them to get them to stick there. This masking tape is quite white so if you've got some very yellow one you might find that it's, it's too yellow and you can go straight for the floral tape on top of the wire. And so I'm rolling the floral tape around. So I've got my little pile of bluebells here. And I need about six. I've got them here, I think. So we can, I'll just show you how to assemble them. So if you have a piece of wire that's a little bit stronger, a little bit stiffer then you can use that because it makes it a little, little bit easier for the bells to hang from it and I'm covering it with floral tape and it can be a bit tricky because it slides off when you're putting it on so really make sure that you've got a grip on the top bit and then you can stretch the floral tape which makes it stickier and then it'll grip uh, nicer on the on the wire and then once you take the top bit you find the your smallest bell and you wrap it around at the top and make a nice curve on the wire so it has a little a little lilt a little nodding of the head and the next one and it's funny how some of them don't seem to go together and you you have to place another one next to it instead of the one you picked up so just notice that it's quite fun I think it's sort of they're communicating with each other it's like no I want to sit next to you <laughs> and um, and there's a lot of fiddling a lot of molding and shaping and don't worry about it because that's the great thing about once they're once you wrap them up like this you'll you'll find that it's it's very gratifying as well to assemble them and that 
it takes a little bit of molding. It's a bit like a sculpture. You can't, you can't, you can't just plonk them on. You have to sort of, you have to sort of play with them a little bit. Oh, and here I've noticed I've, there's a bit of the masking tape that's peeping through. So I'm instead of not repairing it and pretending it didn't happen, I'm just going to repair it <laughs> and place another piece of floral tape. So I've I found that if I don't do it straight away, then it then I'll just be annoyed about it afterwards. Mistakes are okay, just don't want to notice them. <laughs> if you notice them, you have to you have to do something about them. <laughs> and then here goes the last one, placing that one. And of course, with all of these paper flowers, the the leaves need to be added on. But let, let me just show you the template, which was a piece of crepe paper that was scanned and then made into sort of different sizes. And it's exactly the same principle. Just make sure that if you are using the templates that the paper can be, the paper you've printed it on can be a little bit more um, fragile. So just take your time, but glue it at the end, make a little trumpet, squeeze it at the end. So you've got your bell. And if you if your petals aren't aligned, you can just cut them, cut them afterwards. And then you I did find with the, the templates that I've I, either my masking tape wasn't was playing tricks on me, but it was almost easier just to put the green floral tape on these. And it's not always the case, but see, you can sort of see a bit of the wire there, but Anyway, if it's if it's if it's playing tricks on you, just um, go straight for the green floral tape. And the leaves are the ones that I wouldn't say they make the the flowers look more real, but they do make they do liven up the image of the flower that you've just made. The template here is of course white on one side, printed out, so you can either glue it together, or you can almost wrap the the flower stem into it and there's a piece of crepe paper cut into the same shape and I'm just poking a bit of, of the wire through it to make it more um, more elegant I think when you get put it on it and then you sort of wrap the wire around it and then wrap that onto the stem of the bluebell and then you cover it up with green floral tape. Da da magic. <laughs> and of course, you want to be making four or five of these. <laughs> the sweet thing about the bluebells is that you can also, also just do one or two and they look gorgeous in a little vase inside. Have fun.